is Wrangler Star, and I spent the whole day here yesterday walking around. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of di different products, a lot of interesting things, but a couple of booths really stood out with me. Uh, we talked about this last night, and one was yours. I don't care so much about the product as someone that's doing something, started a small business that you really believe in, and making a quality that's all American made the best you can make it. Yeah. Just gives me goosebumps. And I, I love to see that because it's hard to do. It's hard to come up with something. And everyone has a dream of having a homestead and being self-reliant to be able to work from home. And it's to see you guys doing it is a success story that I wanted to share because I really like your product and I'm really proud of you guys for what you've done. Thank so what's the name of your business and what are you making? Our name of the business is Lady and the Carpenter with Kevin's Quality Clothespins, and we make clothespins. So you guys' clothespins, if you look over here, that's holding up a pair of firefighter bunker gear. Those are heavy. Those are heavy. Your uh, Walmart or your dollar store, store clothespins, yeah, there they are. <laughs> so look at the difference between the two. So we have these little crummy ones, and you, sometimes you just pinch them, and then they they, they just fall apart. And you they're, curse at them as they fly through the air. <laughs> they're just garbage. <laughs> so tell us how how you make these, what are the materials, and, and uh, kind of how you got started real briefly. It's made out of 100% maple, locally grown in the Pacific Northwest. You can step right up here. They, so they're all maple? It's all maple. The maple we get from a guitar manufacturer that's down the road from us. What he can't use, we buy. And then we turn around and make clothespins out of it. And what we can't use, all the sawdust, goes to a couple people that have chickens. And they use it for bedding for their chickens. The thing that I noticed right off the bat is I'm, I'm a, kind of an amateur woodworker. Okay. And all, I love boiled linseed oil. I put all, all my tool handles on yeah. it. When I saw that you put boiled linseed oil on these, I was a fan already. Yeah. So, and then where do you get your springs from? Because these springs are really heavy duty. I have the springs custom made. They're over on the East Coast. The guy's using American steel for that. These are really nice. So you sell these in, what are they, 10 packs? 10 packs. 10 packs. And so how much for a 10 pack? Right now they're $14.90 on the website. With okay. a discount code, it'll be 10% less. $14.90. Okay, so you're going to offer a 10% off discount code yes. for Wrangler Star subscribers. And I'll put a link there to that. So if you're really tired and fed up with the really crummy clothespins like you get at Home Depot and, mm -hmm. or not Home Depot, yeah, Home Depot has, they all, everybody, everybody carries Everybody them. carries the Chinese Nobody makes ones. them like, like no. these. Yeah. yeah, this is great. So I'm just really proud of you guys. Uh, I, I think you're going to do really well, and it's great. It's great to see. It's fun to see these things done, and so... Good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So right about now you're asking yourself, what do clothespins have to do with modern homesteading? Well, it's not the clothespins that are so important or why, that's not the reason why I feature to produce this video. It's because of uh, the, the idea behind it. It's um, a family that uh, really wanted to be able to work together, to work from home, trying to figure out a creative solution to cut ties with their nine to five jobs. And coming up with a product and building it the best you can and when there's a need, there's a, there's a market for that. People are buying every clothespin that they're producing because they're tired of dealing with inferior Chinese junk. So, what's your clothespin? What's your idea? What could you do? What kind of a small cottage industry could you start that would allow you to, to cut ties with a job that you may not particularly enjoy, it's not fulfilling to you, and start your very own home-based business? Because I think the, the question I'm asked more than anything else is uh, how do you make money and, and have a homestead? How do you move out of the city, move into the country and still, because the reality of it is we need to we need to feed our families. We need to be able to, to uh, come up with a way to provide. So out here where we live, there's a lot of creative solutions. I, I for example, um, uh, make my living on YouTube and that has allowed us to be able to stay home. I have neighbors that, uh, um, have started all types of small businesses. Some of them make music instruments. Uh, one of them makes really high-end small boats, small dinghies. Um, another company started up out here collecting owl pellets and selling them to school science uh, for research. So just thinking uh, creatively and, and looking and finding a need, something you can do, um, can really ra radically change your life. So that's why I featured these videos. I get nothing from this. Um, I have no dog in this fight. Uh, and there were um, a lot of um, uh, manufacturers at that fair that were uh, beating a path trying to get their products featured and all that. I don't care about that. I don't care. I'm not looking at receiving anything. I just want to show you a couple of examples of companies that are, that are doing it right. 
that figured out a way to do it, uh, to inspire you. Um, just like I was inspired by watching people do what I wanted to do. It helped me to realize that it's possible, that I'm not stuck where I'm at. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, we're not done yet. We've got some I Did It submissions. Kind of an international flavor today. So we've got uh, Michael Hutton submitted. He's out there cutting wood with his uh, Land Rover, Range Rover? I get the Range Rover, 93 Range Rover. Must be in the UK, so that's good to see. Well, men there are the same everywhere, aren't they? Here we have a Swedish entry. Why do we like things Swedish? Well, Mrs. W's mother is Swedish and she speaks the language fluently. We've got family over there. So nice job on that. Fell the tree just a couple inches. And I see that even a Swede likes a steel chainsaw. I won't tell Husqvarna, but uh, anyway, they're both great saws. Next, we have a beautiful shovel restoration. So this is from Stephen and Finley Whitman, and he restored a World War II trenching shovel. Great colors on that. That is really a neat tool. I like the two-tone and how you left the tip there, but uh, nice job on that. Really uh, a cute little shovel. like to have one of those. And finally, one of my favorites, we have oh, Joe Griffith did a Lego Wildland fire engine. Man, that is cool. I showed that to Jack and he thought that that was about the best thing he'd ever seen. Jack is a huge Lego kid. He's built an entire city that takes up his entire room that, uh, well, it's quite, quite something to see. So that's about it. So we, I think we're done with our road warrior uh, days. We've been just traveling and traveling and fire training and all that stuff. We, we're going to stop all that and catch up. Man, we're just exhausted. It's been going nonstop. So I am uh, heading out there as soon as I uh, upload this video uh, to uh, finish up the treehouse. So many of you have asked about that. Look for those uh, con final parts. We'll be doing the, the solar system and the inverter and the batteries and, and all of that type of thing, finishing up the roof. But uh, yes, we'll finish that up. And what else? What else was I going to share with you? Well, take a moment, if you wouldn't mind, to uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed these videos. Um, what else? Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I just want to tell you thank you. Tell you that I'm grateful for all of you that um, take your time and have supported me in all the years of the channel and continue to comment and and to, to like and to be so faithful. And to, I really appreciate it. I really do. I feel so blessed to be part of this community. I feel so blessed to have what I consider to be one of the best jobs in the world. And uh, I can do that um, because you guys support me. So I really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys on the next video.